Hi, I'm Shraddha Kadakya and I specialize in commercial photography. I'm even the founder of Just Click Image Making Company. I picked up my first camera at the age of 16 and photography is not just a passion anymore but a full-time profession. On Shoot It Right, we'll be running through every aspect of photography which will help all you budding photographers to shed your armature tie and move on to the next level. Professional photographers keep flaunting their images captured in low-light conditions like rock concert. On the other hand, we end up coming up with pictures by making the person dark or either making the background dark. Well, today we are going to discuss about every aspect on ISO which will help you to capture images in low light conditions and show all the professionals that we are no less. I even have a click tip of the day. I'm sure you will all like it. What is ISO? Let's understand in very simple and easy language. ISO is basically magnification of light hitting on the sensor. Boosting the ISO means more magnification, making the image look brighter. Still confused? Let's understand this by seeing few examples of images which will clear all your doubts about it. We will be clicking images with different ISO values in a dark room, keeping the torch in front of the camera to understand ISO perfectly. As you can see, the torch light appears to get brighter as the ISO value increases. But it is the camera sensor that is magnifying the light. The torch light remains the same. ISO has its own advantages and disadvantages. The advantage of ISO is that when you boost up your ISO from 100 to 200 to 400, you are able to take bright images in low light conditions. But the disadvantage of it is, when you do that, you start getting grainy images. The texture that you would like to have is lost in grainy image. The edges no longer appear sharp. This brings us to another concept. What are grains? Grains are those unwanted discolored spots on your image which degrades the quality of your picture by making it look fuzzy. That's what a perfectionist would think. But you can use it to your creative advantage by boosting up your ISO, giving it a vintage look. The ISO button might vary from different camera make and models. On my camera, the ISO button is displayed right on top of the camera body. To change the ISO, you just have to press this button and keep changing the ring over here. You can set your camera on auto ISO mode by clicking the button over here. My camera ISO ranges from 100 to 1600. When you set your camera on auto ISO mode, it automatically changes as per the lighting conditions. So a quick recap. Today we learned what is an ISO, how to set your ISO on the camera and how you are able to get creative images using ISO in low light conditions. We also learned how to capture grainy images, boosting up your ISO, getting a complete antique look. Time for the click tip of the day. Use a tissue paper or a gateway paper in front of your internal camera flash while taking portrait images. This will help the light to spread evenly, giving you amazing pictures. So we have reached the end for today's episode. Do subscribe to Shoot It Right and leave a comment below if you have any questions to ask. Let's decode the DSLR together. Happy clicking!